Okay, in this video, what we are going to do is we are going to learn how to mount UPO paper onto a birch cradle board. So this is a birch wood panel board. The brand is Apollon, it's six by six, it's made in Canada. I really like to support Canadian brands. And these nice gallery thickness ones are really fun to work with and they are really, really flat. So you get what you pay for. I like these guys. So I'm just gonna take off this packaging that protects the cradle board. So now we have an actual board here. Sometimes you might get a little bit of debris on that side, so I like to take that off. Just use your nail and kind of pull it off. And then what we're going to do is we want to mount a piece of Yupo paper onto the cradle board. So you want to have it at least that big and sometimes a little bigger, right? Because you're going to cut some off. I'm just using a scrap piece here. And then I'm going to use Yes Paste. You can also use a heavy body gel medium by Golden or Liquitex or whatever brand. Um, this is also acid free. I like to use it. It's cheaper than the heavy body mediums are. And then we just take it. Oh my God. Open this up, there we go, Whew. use the muscles. And I'm going to take it, I use my hands because if you use a paintbrush, it's really hard to get it off. So what I do is I just butter it with my hands. So I'm gonna make sure that I get it all the way to the corners because this is where it is going to be trying to peel off on you is in the corners. So a nice, glistening layer you can see where it is and where it isn't there's that little edge there that I still need to do and you can see the whole thing is done here all right yes paste is done and then I can just get rid of that glove if you're worried about the environment you could just use your hands and wash it after or you could use a brush and try to wash out that glue I just find that you kind of wreck your brushes so I'll put this yes paste away. And then what I do is I take my piece of Yupo and this actually has a straight edge here and a straight edge here because it was from a corner piece. So I'm gonna take advantage of those straight edges and I'm actually gonna put this on like this so that it's right in the corner. Maybe it isn't a straight edge and that's okay. As long as we make sure to get it all on and make sure that your hands don't have a lot of glue on it because you're going to transfer the glue onto the front of the Yupo and you do not want that. After that, you can just take a little brayer and you can make sure that it brings everything down. Okay, so this kind of just slid off to the side so you can re-slide it back on as needed but that brayer is gonna take out any bubbles. Really important for bigger pieces. The smaller pieces, you're not going to notice quite as much um, bubbling, but the, the larger pieces will bubble on you. So you wanna make sure and just push it down flat and you have it all flat there. And then just use your brayer to kind of roll it in and make sure that it's nice and clear. So that one is done. I'm gonna grab one that has dried already so that we can cut off the edges. Okay, when we're cutting, we want to make sure that we use a piece of cardboard or something or we're going to cut our table underneath. And we are just going to take a cutter. Usually this is in an actual, you can use an X-Acto knife. I'm just using some of those blades that you get. Just be very careful and mindful. If you're not really good with blades, use the cutter inside the case. I've been doing this for a while. I didn't cut a perfect side, so sometimes I just like to take my, this and just shave it right down to the bottom. It's nice to have a good sharp blade for this, obviously. So you can see. And then once again, I can just make sure that it's perfectly straight edged like that. And two sides were already done here, but it looks like I might have missed some. And 
this guy. It's a bit off the corner. Okay, so now we have, oh, looks like there's a little bit there as well. There we go. And there we have our straight edges for our cuts. Um, you want to make sure that if you are putting already painted artwork onto this cradle board, you want to make sure that you've sprayed it with a spray varnish before you start because sometimes your brayer, your little rolling pin thing, will actually pull up or move some of your painting. So you wanna make sure your painting is dry and varnished before you put it on the board and then do your, your same cuts. So this goes for plain Yupo. And now I can paint this right on the board if I want. This is another idea for those of you that don't like to put a completed one on here. So yeah, that is mounting Yupo on a cradle board.